Breakfast now, please. Oh, certainly, Sal. Just find out what's happened to it. Scampy, can you do something about that doorbell? And where's everybody else? work out some sort of jobs rotor. Scampy, can you do something about that doorbell? Like what? Like answer it or something! Righto. Right. Let's see. While Sooty's doing the cooking, Scampy could be making beds. And so... Um... <sighs> Thanks, Sooty. Just what I needed. Now, where's Richard? Oh, he's got to be here. Oh, <laughs> just searching through some of my old things. <laughs> I've had this lot since I was little. Oh, just look at this. This is the first toy car I ever had. It doesn't work properly, but it's hard to throw these things away, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> oh, wow! I was wondering what had happened to this. Oh, Richard! Oh. Richard, Liana needs you downstairs. Oh. Well, what's that? This, Sue. This is the first magic trick Ooh. I ever bought. It's my magic colouring book. What does it do? I'll show you. Look. <gasps> Yes, well, the pages are all blank. Ah, that's where the magic comes in. Just blow on the pages, sir. <gasps> <laughs> so what's this? Oh, 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 that's fantastic. Can I colour that in later? Yes, by magic. Now, blow hard as you can. <gasps> that should do it. <laughs> oh, Richard, that was really good. Oh, thank you, oh, Sue. <laughs> hey, what's this old rat? <laughs> it's just something I've had since I was little. You know how it is. Just never got round to throwing it away. Actually, I was looking for a stew recipe that my Auntie Mary gave me. It's amazing. It's got all my favourite things in it. Oh, you've never tasted anything so delicious. Well, why do you need it? Because of posh. Posh? Yeah, posh. P-O-S-H. Particularly outstanding hotels. They're sending one of their inspectors, a Mrs Frumpton, to see us today. Ah, today? Oh, no, but she can't come today. Why not? Well, the place is in total chaos. Oh, we'll soon tidy up. Mrs Frumpton won't be here for hours. Well, frankly, I've never been so badly treated in all my life. For a start, I get kept waiting on the front step. Then I get sprayed with water. Oh, hello. Oh, is it raining? Not that I'm aware of. Oh, you're just a bit hot. I know the feeling. I've been rushing around so much this morning that I'm sweating buckets. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? Well, if you're trying to impress me, you're not going about it in the right way. Impress you? Why would I want to do that especially? Because I'm posh. You're posh? What's that, Scampy? You think she's totally stuck up? Yeah, you could be right. Um, I'm not with you. 
Posh. P O S H. Posh. You're expecting me. Am I? Oh, ah, you must be Mrs. Frampton. I'm so sorry I wasn't here to greet you personally. Richard, why are you talking in that silly voice? Shh. <laughs> I'll take you for now, Miss Bridges. I'm sure you have lots to do. Very busy and popular hotel we're running here, as I'm sure you've noticed. Uh, Mr. Cadell, could I possibly have a quick word? Uh oh. Who is that woman? She's from Posh. Particularly outstanding hotel. She's here to inspect us. Inspect us? It's meant to be a surprise visit. Not for me, it isn't. Oh, look, if we can prove how upmarket this hotel is, she'll award us the three golden eggs. We can put them on the wall in reception. It'll really impress the guests. Sooty and Sweep have just put 20 raw eggs in the wall in the kitchen and it didn't impress me. Hmm. Well, I'll take care of her. In fact, I've got just the thing for her. What's that? My Auntie Mary's stew recipe. Ah, just look at the suit. Uh, what's your name? Sue. I fully intend to. Don't worry. It's all your fault. Oh, Stampy's not really naughty. You'll love him when you get to know him. I wouldn't bank on it. What's he muttering about now? He wants to know if you pick your nose. I most certainly do not. I dare you. I didn't think so. No, oh, Scampy, she doesn't. She just looks like she might. Having a nice little chat. Oh, how super. I'll leave you in Miss Bridges' capable hands, Mrs. Frompton. I'm off to the kitchen to prepare a magnificent repast I feel confident will tantalise your taste buds. Hey, We're going to do some cooking. Oh. Come on. Oh, Scampy, I think you're supposed to be vacuuming in the dining room. Go on, off you go. Oh. Right, Mrs. Frompton, I am at your disposal. Where would you like to inspect first? Oh, that won't be necessary. I prefer to walk around the hotel alone. Oh. Yes, that way I can poke my nose in where people don't want me to. <laughs> at Posh, we're very thorough, I can assure you. I mean, we don't award the three gold egg awards to just anyone. I can see that you're impressed. What? Oh, yes, very. And that's why I really must inspect the hotel on my own. You'll be of the things the hotel staff get up to behind my back. <laughs> well, it is quite shocking, but fortunately, I wasn't born yesterday. Were you? No, of course not. <laughs> you have to get up very early in the morning to pull the wall over my eyes. I can believe it. Right, so, on the face of it, Sooty Heights looks like the perfect hotel. But what's actually going on here? What are you trying to hide from me? Me? Hmm, that's what I'm here to find out. <laughs> Oh, I know you'd dearly love for me to give you our top award, but quite frankly, if Sooty Heights deserves the Three Gold Egg Award, well, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> what are you doing with my hat? Oh, admiring it. Excuse me. Oh. Inspection time. Well, we found my Auntie Mary's stew recipe, and if this doesn't impress that woman from Posh, nothing will. Just think, Sue, we could be the first hotel round here to have three golden eggs on our wall. We've already got a load of raw ones. Mm, yes, well, perhaps you better clean those up while I start cooking. Yes, I'll use this. No, 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 don't touch that! What is that? Oh, it's, um, nothing. Look, just leave the wall, you can do it later, OK? Oh, hi, Sooty. It's your turn to start cooking. Well, who said? It's on Liana's rotor. Oh, I see. Oh, well, you better start then. I'll give Liana a hand. All right, Sue. We'll see you later. All right then, Sooty. That's all the ingredients in the pot. All we need to do now is cook it slowly. Very slowly. The slower, the better. Eh? Why? Because that way, all the wonderful, delicate flavours will come out. Mmm. Not nodding off, are you, Sooty? No. Good. It's very important we keep watching that stew in case the pot boils over. Well, Sooty, stay awake is very important. Oh. I know. Let's try some exercise. That'll help us stay awake.
Hmm? What? Wow! <laughs> oh, God, is it my magic? Hey, was my magic? Oh, no, Sooty, you can't cook it by magic, otherwise it'll taste awful. It's got to cook properly. Look, we've got to get it back in the pot, but don't touch it, it's hot! <laughs> oh, no, Sooty, not the plates as well! <laughs> now see what you've done! Look, just watch the stew and don't touch it, OK? Yes, I know you didn't touch it. Yes, I know I touched it. Yes, I know I shouldn't have done. Look, just watch the stew and be careful. Oh. It's my turn to cook. It says so on Liana's rota. Oh, that's a relief. Mm. Right, come on, Sutter, you can help me sort out these treasures. No, 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 no don't touch that, please, Sutter. Look, Sue, you be careful with that stew. It's got all my favourite things in it. You know, I just know it's going to impress Mrs. Frumpton. Come on. Oh, I really want to win those golden eggs. Mmm. Mmm, I must say. This stew looks delicious. It's got all Richard's favourite things in it. Now, the only thing that would make it even more delicious would be to add a few of my favourite things. Yes, good idea, sir. Yum, bamboo. Delicious. This box is a memory. What's this? Hey, don't fiddle with that sweep. What is it? It's nothing. Just leave it alone, okay? Oh, wow! I used to love playing with this. <laughs> hey, does it still work? Well, I don't know, Sooty. I haven't played with it since I was about six years old. <gasps> First toy plane I ever had. It used to fly like a bird. <laughs> Shouldn't think it will do now, though. There we go! I don't think it was a very good idea to fly it indoors, Sooty! <laughs> it did all be served shortly, with it luck. Oh, absolutely! So I might as well sit in here and wait for my... my hat. <laughs> You've taken my hat. <laughs> Richard's things are in it. I'd better put that right immediately, says Scampy, and heads off for a lift upstairs. Uh oh. <laughs> Mrs. 
Mrs. Frumpton, whatever misgivings you may have had about the Sooty Heights Hotel, they'll be a thing of the past once you taste the special meal that my culinary experts... Culinary experts? He's talking about scamping! Oh, even now, putting the finishing touches to... <laughs> I know, whilst you're waiting, I'll entertain you with an impromptu magic show. I've got some of my magic tricks in this box. Where's my box? Stamp is taking it down to the kitchen. Is what? Oh. Okay, would you fancy, Mrs. F? A bit of a sing-song, eh? Oh, really? That's better, thinks Scampy. Now the stew really has got all of Rich's favourite things in it. Scampy, what are you doing with my box? You put all my favourite things in the stew? Oh, no! Oh, you've cooked my gumbly! How could you cook my gumbly? Everybody happy? Look what he's done! He's cooked my gumbly! This used to be my best friend when I was little. Now it's part of a stew! <laughs> Look, I think you'd better get back to Mrs. Frumpton before she walks out on us. Go on. Yes, you're right. Scampy, how could you? <laughs> oh, don't worry, little Scampy. He'll get over it. <laughs> well, Sooty, it looks like we might need a bit of your magic to save the day. <laughs> well, who's he being? I have the faintest idea, I'm pleased to say. Steps, of course. Well, I think he sounds just like them. I mean, he even looks like one of the girls with that mug on his head. Oh. Everybody happy? Well, Sweet's doing his impressions, but she knows nothing. So, am I going to sample this culinary delight or not? Um, there seems to have been a slight delay in the kitchen. I'm dreadfully sorry, but... Prepare anyway... your taste buds for the feast of a lifetime. How <gasps> magic, Richard. Well, frankly, if it has any taste at all, I'll eat my hat. But I would if I knew I had got to. <laughs> my hat? Is this some sort of a joke? No, it's some sort of a stew. Well, I suppose I'll give it a try. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's really lovely. Mm. I mean... Delicious. Well, on the strength of this meal alone, I have to give you our top award. Oh, oh the three golden eggs! I don't believe it! It's a dream come true! Mm. Well, there are conditions, then, Mr. Goodell. Conditions? Mm. You'll have to make staff changes. Staff changes? Mm. Well, you couldn't run a top hotel with a bunch of cowboys like this lot, but then you're probably aware of that. Thanks, but... We're a team. I couldn't have won this without my friends. And there aren't going to be any changes around here. So enjoy Aunt Mary's stew, Mrs. Frumpton. Richard, we've cleaned your gumbly up for you. Oh, thanks. But I don't need it anymore. I've got all the friends anyone could ever want. Hey, don't forget, you said you'd eat your hat. <laughs> <laughs> bye, 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 everybody. Bye, bye. bye.